Okay, the Halo Infinite Multiplayer Overview. Now this was live early, I believe, and I missed it. Yeah, it was happening during the extended, oh my god. Just the feeling of like being in a firefight Bro, and hearing the, the click of the gun, love throwing love it down, insane. grabbing one off the wall. My gunner's upside down and he's like laying in. I see kill assist, kill assist, kill assist. Any pistol across any of the games, whatever gun allows me to feel the most like John Wick. I am there. <laughs> Remember how excited I was with like this big oh my combat God, vehicles going all bro. over the place. Halo means something different for everyone, right? I think that that's what makes Halo great. What the? Oh my God! Yes, give it to me. Give it to oh, the way the arm was just. Ooh, let's go. Show me everything. What is? Halo multiplayer. And for me, it boils down to this tight arena style combat. Yes. And big team battle, this wide open, vehicle infused uh, kind okay. of combat. We're taking that awesome legacy or classic yes. Halo combat experience and modernizing it in ways that'll feel fresh How? to old players and really Battle exciting Royale? to new players. We're gonna give you great ways to customize you your Spartan, really make okay. your super soldier your own and we're kicking off a journey, an experience that's gonna evolve month to month, okay. season to season, year Seasons. after year. Okay. For Same me, year working through this multiplayer this game, okay. the toughest challenge I think was really about how do we respect the legacy of what came before us, but still build something that feels new. We've tried to bring all these elements of legacy and really inject them into Halo Infinite. How? Not just so like I, in a in a in a way where you kind of you're notice about it, but like, oh, they really designed this to be a celebration of previous Halo, as well as an iteration of where Halo can go next. Okay. I'm liking the customization that we're seeing. The vision of Arena oh was God. all about so the grappling hook is going to be fair. in multiplayer. It was all bro. about earning everything on the map, earning everything, every kill you get. Going back to like yeah. what is the core foundation Woo. of what made the great. Halo multiplayer so arena matches, great. Clean. Halo, it's really about fair and balanced starts. So everybody's on equal footing when they come off the rip. Yep. And then once they start running around, it's about scavenging, it's about finding new toys and, and kind of developing your play style as you run through the match. Oh, okay. What, what, makes Halo feel what like kind of Halo? gun was that? Um, I feel like uh, the answer to that question is is the sandbox. Like, the sandbox is Halo. This makes when we wanna, set out uh, to look at Halo the, Infinite from a high level and the direction of what it is, like there's lots of exciting player. things there because we really wanted to push what are the things that are true to Halo, but what are the Ooh. things that fans haven't seen yet? Equipment oh, is bad, but equipment is kind of... Oh, so you can grab the hook has a, has weapons, a bigger voice than bro? We ask questions to ourselves Let's of, go. Uh, if you could go after, you know, a power weapon to get a bunch of kills, uh, would you do that? Or could you go and get grapple to make sure that you swing yourself to the other side of a map to back cap a stronghold? Oh. We saw that as like another avenue of not just skill expression, but tactics for teams to coordinate around. The exciting combinatory nature of you you know, you this toy plus it this toy and how anywhere? those interact with objectives is super amazing. Looking at how the power-ups play, like your classic power-ups, like the overshield and the active camouflage. For okay, this title, what we're looking at what we're excited for is you pick that up and you choose when you activate it. It goes into your inventory. Oh. If you haven't used it and someone kills you in multiplayer, you drop that overshield and then they can take it, oh. use it for themselves. That to me is very legacy, but we took the equipment side of it and modernized that it. When it comes to the vehicles, we went smart. in and decided that makes to invest it smart. a lot so of you pick up like an invincible When I take damage to my warthog, when you want uh, my, my wheels can get blown off, cool. my hood can get blown off. There's different aspects of the vehicle that change how my vehicle handles now. And that's something that's brand new. Another thing we added to that is like this doomsday okay. mechanic. So when you Vehicles hit this threshold, the vehicle weapons. catches fire and it's very much, you've got a certain amount of health or a certain amount of time and you gotta choose what you wanna do with the last minutes of this vehicle. <laughs> We've got a cousin the Warthog, which is the Razorback. The back has this like multi-storage compartment what? that you can put a lot of stuff into. So if you want to put like detached turrets, power weapons, fusion coils, objectives, and that is what really making uh, the Razorback kick a lot of butt in MP and campaign. The Razorback. The levels okay. define pace for the game, how so frantic it is, and they define the iconic fantasy for players as they're entering that match. That what do they want to do? Um, what type of experience are they hoping to have? What kind of combat? What kind of dance floor is there available to have that combat? What kind in? of dance? Yes, it is the dance. <laughs>
For me, BTV is all about experiencing uh, the full extent of the sandbox of Halo in just one match, right? Like you see the vehicles, the oh. weapons, the equipment. We really wanted to take that kind of concept, those feels you had, you know, playing, yes. the, play, playing the previous games and just turn the volume Woo. up. Vehicles are no longer just spawning at bases anymore. We have pelicans delivering them and we have a commander oh, in your ear telling okay. you that Pelicans are gonna be that dropping off these vehicles. That is lit. Vehicles. Tank is inbound. We have that Halo is 2 lit. style Delta Halo mission weapon pods that fall from the sky to resupply the field. That's what? where it makes it feel like like a real battlefield and, and it's very exciting. This is not Bro. just more players. This is just the certain Weapon pods drop from the chaos. sky to refill the battle. What? Player the announcer expression. is your big gameplay moments, your game modes, just like the way it was before. Play. Personally, I is really a reflection and information for the player. Personal AI. Designation button. So if a player grabs a flag, <laughs> your personal AI is going to tell you to, you know, get that thing back to base and give you some like moment to moment updates. Our team took the enemy okay. Flag. What if we can let players choose their own AI and each one of those are different voices so that players can find oh, the one that fits like their personality? Like a Cortana. <laughs> they, they add a sense of like me that is as, insane. A, as a Spartan being more important and, and for us in multiplayer it is really about becoming a spartan your spartan you that are you inside is, of the halo universe that is the body lit. of customization like content that we have on day one ensures that there will be millions of customization combinations for spartans on the battlefield oh, wow. that includes things like armor coatings uh, armor emblems various armor effects down to the individual armor pieces. So your shoulders, your Bro. gloves, your knee pads, your helmet, your visor, your helmet attachments. Then you look at weapons and we've got a whole slew of customization yes. there. Vehicles have a, have a huge pool of customizations too. Cool, we support cool, customization cool, cool. in the game. Players can do the same thing on halowaypoint.com as well as the Halo Waypoint app. The player also customizes the Spartan, so the soldier inside the suit. A character you want the Spartan to represent the player the as much too, as possible. Bro. They can change That's their insane. body type and their voice, as well as choose prosthetics for the first time. Coatings offer what? us a unique opportunity to craft some hyper-polished looks and let you express yourselves in ways you've never been able to before. So we're coming at this from a player first mentality. So what that means is that there's no random loot in this. There's no loot boxes. Okay. It's very important to us that everyone understands exactly okay. how they unlock customization content. And we have a variety of places where they can do that. Ooh, okay. First off is the battle pass. Battle the Halo pass. battle pass okay. will never be taken away from you. And what I mean by that is once you buy it, it's yours and does not expire. In future oh. seasons, you can purchase old battle passes as well as the current what? battle pass and choose which battle pass to put okay. your production towards. All of Change these are the way source, battle so pass never gonna be work. Confused about I where love it, Halo. Come from. If you can unlock Change something in the battle pass, we're Fortnite not gonna let is any gonna do this. Anyway, like that Fortnite is, is gonna do this. Storefront. A lot of our stuff is unlocked through playing the game and that only through playing the game. Insane. All customization is just cosmetic. Every that season will have its insane. own theme and introduce new components, new looks, new gameplay for players, new opportunities to earn and collect cool rewards. That is We've insane. seen the, the samurai Ooh. already. That's one of our event <laughs> armor cores. And that's gonna be something that players can earn through gameplay for free. Bro, that is insane. With us going free to play for the multiplayer part of the game, like that was a big goal because, you know, how do we have a way we can always bring players in, right? And they can, when we have a new update, there's, there's They'll just dip their toes in if they even just want to see it. Not only are we free to play, but we're free to play on PC as well as console. Yeah. And what that means is we're able to get the biggest audience we've ever had. I mean, everybody gets to play with no barriers. I and even have better, to your progression to the carries Xbox, from one platform like, to the next. Getting X. our game to be on well, PC S. and console at the same time is an amazing chance for us to really just kind of excite new players about the game. If I'm mostly How can we do things Halo like make anyway. cross-play interesting and like even and in maybe just a couple of being game able to just play with your friends. They, like some people have PCs and some people have consoles and like let them talk to each other. Let them be friends. Oh, maybe get a beefy PC for it. Why are It's free to play, right? To be a Spartan. The Academy is a place that you can go uh, with an MP to kind of onboard into the experience. It's great for newer players who are still picking up the controls and also people who want to warm up before they head into matchmaking. It's a series of experiences 
both a tutorial to get started for the first time, weapon drills okay. to practice with specific items, and also training mode that you can ooh, use ooh, to just ooh, ooh. get warm, explore the game as you want to. So for players who are new to Halo, I let's help them learn what this universe is about. Some of these characters, what, what are they about? And help them kind of so know like the vocabulary room? that people have been speaking for now almost 20 years so that we, when they come in there, they don't feel like they're behind everyone else. They can kind of come in on an even footing. Okay. I mean, I'm super jazzed about bots. I think they're awesome. Bots? Our goal with bots has been to have a variety of difficulties that kind of provide a good training partner for wherever you're at in the experience. Oh, okay. So just come to play. Partnering with okay. our players on the road to launch and give after the, launch is absolutely critical, to go right? Crazy with. And Halo's always been about the community conversation. We want to make sure we hear our players, make changes where we can based on that feedback, make sure the game is ready for launch, and then even beyond launch. Okay. What I'm genuinely I'm excited about here. is taking the game out of our hands and putting it into the community's hands. You know, whether it's seeing what people make in Forge oh, or the content that they're able to create with God. theater, watching Forge. streamers go after the game. To get involved, you go to HaloInsider.com, put in your info with your gamer totally tag, like and we should be able to reach out Forge. to you if we want to invite you Bro, to the like, Halo Why is this the first time like We feel like we've got a pretty good head. selection at launch and what's going to be there for our fans. And this isn't going to be something that is just a static set of People items. Are gonna we have some new stuff in the works already. Halo maps and just can't wait available. to really get into that as soon as this game comes out. New maps, new modes, new ways to customize your Spartan. Okay. Launch is just the beginning. Now we're just going to be able to talk, interact more frequently. Okay. And that's just going to be great. That is the future of Halo Infinite multiplayer. Thank you to the community for all their feedback over the years so far. And uh, I'm looking forward to the road to launch, launch itself, yep. and beyond. Ooh. OK, some skull actions. Oh god, I love the Halo shotgun. Top two shotguns of all time. Same thing with the sniper. Sniper might be the best sniper in video game history. Hands down. Halo Infinite is actually looking pretty good. Okay. No battle royale mode. However, the multiplayer looks juicy. It does look meaty. It does look meaty. I give it that. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it can be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one